Oh man, oh man, what's the business? You already know what time it is. It's your folk, Marquise. And welcome to another episode of OVF, baby. You know what I'm saying? That's right, Overstanding Fridays. And I'm just excited. I really am. I'm grateful. I've been consistent. I pat myself on the back because, as I said, I let y'all down for far too long. And God been just dealing with me. You know what I'm saying? I talked to y'all about the reality of destiny and what you called to do. So, without further ado, let's get into it, man. It's been a lot going on out here. It's really been a lot going on here. And my heart has been heavy because the amount of violence, the amount of death, the amount of just outright chaos has been overwhelming, man. You know what I'm saying? I talked earlier in this week in my reaction video, Keys Reacts, about how over the 4th of July weekend, over 90 people were shot in the city of Chicago. Over 90 people were shot in a weekend. That is just ungodly. That's uncanny. That is that is madness. You can't sit here and tell me in any capacity of your thinking as a, as a human being to hear that 90 people, not animals, not targets, not cars, there's not a video game. These are real human beings with families. Over 90 people got shot and 16 died, lost their lives, no longer here. That's a lot. That's serious. It's cold red, man. It, the, the alarms is blaring loud. They even talking about, I believe it was, I think it was New York, but it might have been Chicago, my apologies, where the activists were were putting pressure on the governor to declare a state of emergency. But it's like, what is that gonna do now? They could call out the, the military, which is which is just as crazy even coming out of my mouth. But the violence is so outlandish that they won't I guess I can only suppose the military and National Guards would go into the streets and police the streets for a time. So, I just want to talk about the power that rappers have. That's why I talked about the drill music and all that in prior uh, videos and stuff, man. And I'm praying for Chicago. I'm praying for Richmond. I'm praying for everybody. That's why you see me rocking that Lord Save My City, you know, truly. So, I'm cranking up my own marketing efforts and launching, uh, relaunching the teaching ministry to put out quality uh, spiritual content for those that desire a deeper relationship with the God of the Bible, man, desire to change their lives. So I love you all. Y'all keep me in prayer for that. Those that operate in that way, uh, I'm not here to force my religious beliefs on anybody, but I share what has worked for me, what I believe to be the truth. That's my personal opinion and the opinion of many others. But uh, I believe that is what will bring major change in the street. So without further ado, let's get it in, man. So... Y'all know I'm reading from the book, Overstanding, a Comprehensive Look at Gangster Rap and Subgenres and Their Effect on the Generation. I wanted to talk about the reality of influence, and I'm coming from page 135. This is the trap music segment. I've talked about various genres because uh, the book is, you know, Comprehensive Look at Gangster Rap and Subgenres. These are major subgenres of gangster rap that has solidified themselves in the history books forever. And uh, I'm talking about trap, man. And they say there's like three godfathers of trap. And that's Young Jeezy, T.I., and of course, Gucci Mane. So I wanted to talk about the influence, the power that Jeezy had when he hit the scene, specifically talking about this snowman t-shirt and the overall branding that was done. Can't ban the snowman. Let's get it. I'm going to scroll down some. I'm on page 135. Well, scroll on the go down some. All right, cool. The mixtapes by Jeezy just further applied the pressure and solidified him as one of the trap founding fathers and one of the best to do it in the genre. The mixtapes Can't Ban the Snowman and Trap or Die with DJ Drama are legendary. They really are, even to this day, man. I can't tell you that if I heard one of them jump that I wouldn't be hyped for a moment like, oh, hey. You know, it's just the reality of nostalgia, but Lord help me. 
the snowman Jesus street moniker was so influential that the snowman logo t-shirts were banned from schools. Check that out. This is very important. This is what I'm saying. I'll also be launching uh, as an empowerment speaker, author, and trainer. I will be launching some leadership programs soon because I believe that the teachers and the educators uh, should definitely be abreast as to what's going on. They do know what be going on, but I just want to do my part to bring my insight and things of that nature into the school system. So look out for that information. Below is an excerpt from an article back in 05 from Channel 12 in Augusta, Georgia. They are the hottest selling items in urban clothing stores. T-shirts bearing the image of an angry snowman made popular by rapper Young Jeezy. In this special assignment, News 12 is on your side to explain the hidden message behind the snowman and how wearing the shirt could land your child in big trouble. Check that out. A part of my own personal beliefs with the solutions, that's what I was sharing with people. In this book, I'm not just, you know, exposing and sharing information. I also provide solutions. It's about solutions. What can we do to take back our power, to take back our family, to take back our positions in the lives of the children and in the lives of those in our communities. Rapper Young Jesus hit album, Let's Get It, excuse me, is topping the charts and flying off the shelves at local music stores. Quote, unquote, he has one of the hottest selling CDs now, Mona Gordon. Jesus, the self-admitted drug dealer turned rapper, has popularized the image of a snowman. The image is seen on the cover of his album and on shirts being sold across the country. I remember them, Jones. Them was the biggest, the hottest thing out there, man. When, when Jesus was in the streets, man, that snowman was everywhere. And that just goes to show the power of these rappers getting a hold on the streets, getting a hold on the hearts of those around us, man. That's why I'm telling you, I don't care what nobody say, this gangster rap music is influential. They had the Jesus Snowman t-shirts all across the country. They flooded the country with these shirts. You know what I'm saying? And so much so as the shirts could not be worn in schools. So you cannot tell me this music is not influential. You can't do it. You be lying to yourself. But look closely. This is no typical snowman. This one has a menacing expression. It's an image many say also has a dangerous meaning. It has certain associations with illegal activity, Gordon said. That's right. On the streets, the snowman is a term used for someone who sells snow or cocaine. If you listen to Jesus' lyrics, he says, I'm iced out, plus I got snow, man. Even in this clip that I was referring to, you can see the rapper is performing as snow is falling around him. And the shirts have become so popular that hundreds of students are wearing them. But most parents have no clue about their meaning. If I were to just look at it, I would not even think to read it and think anything about it, said Ann Fulcher. But after learning the meaning of the snowman, Walter Reeves, principal at Butler High School, immediately decided to ban them. One kid said, Dr. Reeves, what does the snowman mean? I looked at him and said, you know what it means, Reeves said. And just a week later, all Richmond County schools followed suit. Now, this is me talking. I vividly remember that time, although I was out of school, I recall the young other young people talking about it. You saw everybody rocking the snowman shirt. Jeezy and the snowman craze was so crazy that I saw these females with tattoos calling them snails, calling themselves snow, B-I-T-C-H. That's how... That's how potent and popular it was. That I, I had saw some females that went and got tattoos. It didn't say snowman. It said snow. You know what I'm saying? That's powerful. With the image of a snowman on their body. History. Jeezy made straight history. So let me know down below in the comments your thoughts. Look at the, the power of this rap music. Look at the power of this music and the artist on the culture. On the culture. I remember them days. I remember them days. Jeezy the snowman. I make it winter time. You know what I'm saying? He was going in.
all about blow, all about coke, all about hustling and, and, and bleeding the block, you know. So he made. I remember I was sharing in a, in, a, in in one of my in the book. Uh, I was watching a documentary that Raekwon the Chef from Wu Tang said Scarface the movie hit the scene. He made us hustle. Like he turned us into hustlers. He made people want to sell drugs. So yeah, that's what I was saying. Although you know the opportunity presented itself, and I get it. Culture, uh, life imitates art. Life imitates art. And in the eighties, you got the blow hitting, you got that crack hitting, and you had Scarface, one of the biggest, most influential gangster movies ever created, where he was pushing to the limit. He was selling so much coke. He was making so much money. He ruled with an iron fist. So people in the streets, they felt Tony Montana, Tony Montana, Tony Montana. Future made a song years, years, years later. Tony Montana, Scarface, that movie had to be uh, 83, 93, 2003, 2013. I think Tony Montana came out. You're talking about 30 year old movie and, he, and Future rapping about Tony Montana? That's how powerful and influential this stuff is. But I believe we got the chance. We're putting out good, positive music, good, positive books, being good, positive role models and showing up and loving on our people and encouraging them and showing them other ways. I believe we can make a dent in this thing. It's your folk, Marquise. You already know what time it is. And for those super observant people, you see that white line? For those that are super observant, because I see stuff like that, it's the process that we use to put the image on the shirt, but it's not damaged. After one good soft wash, it will go away, but the shirt is fire. You can see the popping images on it right there. You know what I'm saying? Lord Save My City. You can click the link below, lordsavemycity.com and get yours. I appreciate that. And of course, I am running a pre-launch special. If you buy the Think Different, Live Different shirt, if you purchase that, you will get a free copy of the book, Overstanding. This thing ready to go all across the country and really all across the world. So I appreciate you showing love and, and getting your copy now. It's a workbook also. We got solutions in it. It has truly impacted everybody that has picked it up. I appreciate you. You already know what time it is. Of course, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification. But of course, when you think different, you live different. Any questions? Y'all bless.